Tip number one. The sticker that comes on the windshield, use a blade and lots of liquid like water or windshield cleaner and just like that, peel it off. Don't try and scrape it off. Uh, just slice, 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 okay? That's how you get the sticker off easily. Make sure the wiper blades are in the right position, okay? So take note of it before you remove it and it's always good to do a test when you're all done before you give it to the customer. Imagine grabbing the vehicle, driving away, it's raining, you turn it on and it's hitting the body of the car. What if it damages the body or something, you know, or breaks the wiper blade or, or something just goes wrong? Uh, you don't want that. You don't want the headache on the customer. Then they have to come back to you. Um, I know for me, I get customers that come here like, you know, some of them drive like an hour. Um, sometimes more, but like an hour is very common. Uh, specifically just to come here for me to do it. Um, why would I want them to ever have to come back? Tip number three. Okay, you've done the windshield, you cleaned it, it looks great, okay, this look, looks nice, right? Cleaned it, it's done. Um, no, you're not done, okay? Get rid of your footprints, okay? Wipe the floorboards um, with either a glass cleaner uh, or some kind of nice cleaning uh, product and uh, don't use something with like a strong smell because you don't want people to walk in there and, and jump in the vehicle and be like, oh, what's this? I mean, what, did, did they use thinner to clean my shit? No, but make sure you get your footprints off and you clean the inside and, and, wait for it. Listen to this one, okay? Nobody does this shit. And if you do, I'm really proud of you because honestly, I see a lot of this stuff and I see other companies doing glass because um, I, I kind of just like, I watch everything. I'm like the guy in the distance just watching, okay? I'm, I'm, okay, I don't actually do that, but I, I have seen this a lot because I work with other glass companies uh, and I've just been around the block for a long time. Um, nobody cleans the mirror. You know the rear view mirror? So you finish the windshield job, you the windshield spotless, but a lot of the time, like even customers don't clean their own mirror so a lot of them are all like smudged and blurry and like stained and stuff um just take two seconds and while you're cleaning everything give that a nice scrub too give it a nice wipe man like people walk in here open the door it's like what my floorboards are shiny the glass is immaculate whoa is that what the mirror is supposed to look like this is amazing this is the shit that'll make you stand out from the rest because other people don't do this shit. Why? I don't know, I haven't figured it out. It could be many reasons, but don't be the other people. Don't be the other guy. Be the goddamn freaking. be the one. You gotta be number one, okay? That's it. Number one, we are number one. You wanna do this shit right. Okay, do the shit one step ahead of everyone. Actually, like three steps, at, four steps ahead of everyone, okay? Do this shit four steps ahead of the others. You're done. The phone, man, success, bring it on, okay? Because they can't compare. And trust me, quality, okay, it catches up with you. Okay, you think, oh, just get it out, who cares? Nobody knows. You know what? It's the little shit that people notice, companies notice over time, because they'll deal with you and they'll be like, bam, 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 perfect, perfect, perfect. Don't forget, we're dealing mainly with companies here. Perfect, perfect, perfect. They get used to the quality. If they try another company and that other company is not cleaning the floorboard, so they bring this car back and it has like footprints on it now, and the dealers already detailed this shit, so they'll notice, okay? Dealers have an eye for this shit. So, you know, they got footprints, they're gonna be like, whoa, nah, we gotta go back to our glass guy, like this is bullshit. This, what the, what is this shit, okay? Who called this guy? Go back to the other glass company, don't ever call anybody again. Next tip, you put a windshield in, you put the tape on it to hold it in place until the urethane dries, you toss it out the door, you call the customer, come pick your shit up, it's ready, 
and they drive away with two pieces of tape on the top or multiple pieces of tape because you broke the clips for the moldings so you had to urethane it back on stop it don't do that shit just quit okay just do not do that shit no more just stop stop it why aren't you stopping it no more okay that car stays in your shop until the urethane is dry and it's not a big deal okay if you're using the slow cure shit I understand you want it out the door don't use that stuff pay a few bucks extra get the quick dry okay two hours airbag safe fully cured okay if that car can't sit in your shop for two hours there's something wrong there okay people you gotta wait this is safety all right don't send that shit out early and if you are you're jeopardizing the safety of your customers okay in an accident that windshield's gonna fly right out do not do that and if it's in your shop for long enough that this stuff's curing and it's fully dry well then pull the tape off and clean the tape marks and then call the customer and send it out they come I just finished this okay spotless you do you see tape no do you see tape residue no okay done it's ready it's clean okay there's nothing the customer needs to do don't make the customer do the final cleaning step okay don't make the customer remove the tape clean the glass and now they're done because you're not even fully completing the job if you're leaving work for the customer don't do that shit okay nobody likes that I've had dealers tell me that they stopped using a glass company because they kept having to clean the tape and on a really really hot day that shit's leaving that glue residue like crazy and on a really cold day it's not coming off it's like busted on there you know like you don't do this shit just stop it seriously